Less than two days ago, there's still no clear path to avoid a government shutdown. The House did pass several spending bills late last night, but those measures will not stop a shutdown and have no hope of passing in the Senate. The Senate passed a bipartisan stopgap proposal, but the House has not considered that yet. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is trying to keep the GOP conference together and keep his job and plans to bring his own version of a spending plan to the floor today. So we have team coverage for you this morning of the budget impasse and what it means for you. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live with Local Impact, but first let's head over to ABC's M. Nguyen, who's in Washington. Good morning. This morning, mounting tensions on Capitol Hill as House Speaker Kevin McCarthy wrestles with hard right Republicans to make a deal that would avert a government shutdown. Why would they side with Biden on an open border when we have an opportunity to do something like that? Are they doing it for that reason? Are they doing it for personal reasons? Are they doing it for chaos? Today, McCarthy plans to hold a test vote on a far-right bill urging his GOP conference to unite and approve a measure that would slash federal funding by 8 percent and toughen border security while temporarily keeping the government open. But at least 10 GOP members are against any continuing resolution. Do you believe McCarthy has the votes if he puts that CR on the floor tomorrow? No, he doesn't. It will fail. Yeah. The House passed four of the 12 appropriations bills needed to fund the new fiscal year, but they're considered dead on arrival in the Senate. If a shutdown comes October 1st, as many as 4 million federal workers, including 20,000 Border Patrol officers, could be furloughed or asked to work without a paycheck. We can't have uh, the lack of security of our border. Notably, a shutdown could also impact more than a million active duty service members, including Austin Carrig's husband. This mom saying they rely on every paycheck to help with their daughter's medical expenses. They are literally playing games with our lives. We mean nothing to them, but they expect my husband to go fight their wars. That's not fair. Meanwhile, the Senate unveiled a stopgap measure that would keep the government open until mid-November, but it includes funding for Ukraine, something McCarthy has indicated is a non-starter for House GOP. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.